welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We are continuing our run through of Breath of Fire. On the last episode, we went on another item gathering mission, and we picked up a few new forms for Karn, uh, a few new items, mostly relics and uh, accessories. And now we are heading on our way to the next area. Now that we have Mogu and uh, his ability to dig. Now this uh, this cave here, I could have gone through a later. Uh, excuse me, sorry about that. I could have gone through here before I went into the dream world, but I chose not to. Um, what? I don't know if they actually intend you to do that. Uh, they, you can go through here to the next town, realize that you're going to need digging power, and come back. Um, it doesn't really tell you, you know, hey, next way to go is down through this cave. You just kind of know, like, okay, I'm done here. Let's move on. We're on our way to a new town, uh, Town Spring, which uh, obviously means the, um, the season. And uh, we're going to see what's down there and see if we can finally reach the capital city. Unfortunately, that has been our mission since quite early in the game, actually. Take the uh, Dark Dragons out in their home, but... Boy, it's taking us a long time to get there. I don't even think we've uh, found any keys recently, either. The fabled six goddess keys. Oh, and there's that roll attack. do that much damage there, unfortunately. Uh, I've seen in later stages of the game him hitting the last boss for 999, so we can expect good things out of him. Here we are in the town of Spring, which you can already see that there's something wrong with that. But first, healing. Okay, and of course going through their stuff, finding another clog. Which, as you remember from the last one I found, increases my agility, so... Who can I give that to that would help the most? Unfortunately, no one really. So I'm gonna pop it on him for now, and, uh... If there comes a time where I really need that agility over, say, the magic uh, abilities of... Uh, Bleu and Nina, we can switch that in. Yeah, see, that was the guy who had been like, Hey, you need to get a mole person. Go back north. Yeah, we've seen him before. Yeah, so I really think that uh, the intention of the game and its progression was for me to come here before I went to uh, save Mogu. The tunnel behind the waterfall leads to Scanned. And because the tower, uh, excuse me, the waterfall is frozen, that was our hint to go on back and get him. So yeah, uh, the game's intention was for me to go here first, and then have to go back, but there was really no point to. So there seems to be nothing else in the town. Might as well check the weapon shop, see if there's anything good. I'm assuming no, since we just kind of hit the mother load. Power drag, power dagger. The rust claw. I would assume the iron claw would be better. And I don't see myself using him f too much, but I might as well give him better weapons and armor just in case. I 
he's already got the dragon sword. He's pretty much set for the game. Armor is way worse. And really, to uh, get the full effect of armor here, I would need to uh, basically unfuse so I could see what the other characters are using, but we don't need that right now. There really won't be a point uh, that I will be unfusing in any kind of fighting capacity, so... Essentially, my buying them weapons and armor is kind of outdated. And I believe I said before, uh, there may be a option to, uh, I guess there's nothing there right now, there may be an option to, uh, not fuse and use all eight characters, not, not all of them at the same time, but, you know, have them switching in and out. I'm sure that's a viable tactic, I've never seen it done, so if you know, you know, a fellow, uh, Breath of Fire player, who uses that tactic instead of fusion, I would like to watch that. I think that would be rather interesting. So, here's the Tower of Spire. Um, you can see the dragon face in front of it. That is the uh, entrance to the tower, and that is why we needed our buddy Bogo. I'm actually going to do a lap around the tower because I believe there is another dig spot or a scream spot. Scream spot meaning when I have to scream with the with uh, Karn there. But I'm not sure if it's this town or the next town that has it, so I'm gonna do a quick lap around, see if it's there, gain a level, learn ice, and if I'm right, then yay treasure, if not, and I'm not, no treasure. So, I'm gonna do a quick stop in the end again, just because I took a few hits. We want to be at full power. Uh, this actually, this next tower that's coming up is actually one of my favorite parts of the game. Um, just for its aesthetics, and just for its design. Um, my other favorite place obviously being uh, the Shrine of Agua, which we've traveled to many a time. But this one's right up there. I, I do enjoy this tower. I don't enjoy where it leads to, I'll tell you that. Epic uh, foreshadowing there. I definitely don't like where it leads to, but I do like the tower itself. So here we are in the Tower of Spire. This one's going to take me a bit to explore, so uh, brace yourselves. I I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I do. We have some rather tough enemies here. He's almost working and kind of a... He has boss hit points. So we're just gonna keep the pressure on. If he does anything weird, then we'll know. We have plenty of items to restock if we need it. Like if he suddenly, you know, uses some instant death attack and nails me one. Doesn't seem to be. I will say, I may have said this in an earlier episode, but the new battle music here. Definitely, you could switch this music in for any music in Mega Man X, and <laughs> it would fit perfectly. Uh, obviously, because they're both Capcom games, but. This music definitely reminds me of, uh, of uh, a Mega Man X type stage. And these enemies are not dropping. Oh, drop me though. We are not going to be in auto battle right now. Do I have a, a life spell? No. I'll just hopefully it doesn't uh, attack her next. Oh, 
Wow. We may have some issues. some issues here. Luckily I have enough acorns to last me. Wow. And it didn't really give me that MX experience. Okay, next time we run into those, we're running. I think that goes without saying now. So I'm gonna pop an acorn in my mouth here just to Keep my magic high. All right, so we're essentially in the basement area of this uh, tower. And it kind of looks like a sewer. We're gonna uh, gather as much treasure as we can. All right, these uh, these flowers aren't as dangerous as that eyeball. So we're just gonna wreck him. And I think this is the part of the game where the game kind of recognizes that you will probably have really strong powers, really good experience, really good equipment, and they're gonna stop. They're gonna take the training wheels off. Which I know I've said that multiple times in the playthrough. I said it with the gremlin, I said it with the, you know, farther through, that this is, I'll say something like, this is the place where the game gets more difficult. Uh, I did not realize that I would be getting through it as easily as I was. I think this is the point where it's going to finally catch up to me. Maybe me saying it um, changes my fate. <laughs> and makes it not happen. So if that happens, you know, sorry to lie to you again, but hey. I will say that I've done very little grinding in this game too, so. Which is usually the opposite of what I tend to do. And we're back here. Sticking with the uh, traditional Warlock Dark Knight combo that we've dealt with uh, quite a few times already. Skeletons, two flies. You know what? I'm gonna bring out the old favorite. Because it's technically uh, 150 damage spread out. Nice counter. I will say this game's not big on counters and uh, critical hits, but when you find them, you get them. You enjoy them. One more time. And I hope me saying that I, you don't get many criticals uh, makes the game shove them at more into me. Yeah, see? <laughs> you say it, and it'll give you the opposite. I'll just have to say it enough times to make me crit every round. Alright. Alright, so that should do it. On the next episode, we're going to travel up the tower and see what we can run into. 
so hope you come back for the next one. Next one's going to be uh, quite the doozy in terms of storyline, in terms of this dungeon, and hopefully in terms of the uh, game as a whole. So I hope you come back. My name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.